Made it to the finals. It does at this point it doesn't matter what happens. Cause I can't give up the fight. Cause like no matter no matter what I may think inside, like, okay, this guy may uh, hit some bad moves on me and mess me up. I gotta like just keep on driving. Well you definitely know what to do. That's two wins in a row for you this year. Thanks, Congratulations. Thanks Back to you guys. All right, going right into 152-pound action, already underway from Heidelberg High School. Daniel Lejeune, he is a senior this year, placed second at Europeans last year, and uh, does not want to play second again. 22-0, and 0, came out this season with a fury. Doing great right now to control Devin Parrish from Lake and Heath. He came in fourth last year, puts up a 26-1 and one record this year. He's a senior, just like Lejeune, and Lejeune is doing a fantastic job of putting all that pressure in that three-quarters Nelson in order to control the matchup right now. Lejeune came out looking like he was on a mission. He really, he came out aggressive, got the takedown right away, and uh, is doing a really good job of controlling. He's got to watch his leg, though. Parrish on bottom right now. Look like he's, uh, they're going to call a potentially dangerous situation. So they're going to start it back over. Lejeune still on top, but uh, he's doing a really good job of controlling the action right now from the top. This is a tough matchup for Parrish to come into. Lejeune's goal this European Championship was to pin out. I think he did. Maybe he missed out on one match, but phenomenal wrestler in there and knows what it takes to get to the finals. Parrish just came up a little short last year and ended up placing fourth. Lejeune did have a goal this year of pinning out here at the tournament, which means he wanted to pin everybody clear through to the finals. And uh, But like I said, at this level, it's hard to do that because the competition is so high at this tournament, at the European tournament. This is the pinnacle. This is what they wrestle for all year. You're not going to have any slouches. You're not going to have what they call in the wrestling world fish. Exactly. So uh, it, it would be a, a tall task to pin out at this tournament. Lejeune doing a fantastic job of attempting to control the head. What he needs to be careful is if he gets too high here, Parrish can pull a switch on him, and then Lejeune will be in a, a tough situation. He is trying to negate that by hooking his leg into the other leg, what we call a leg ride. It seems to be working out pretty well for him. That's End of the first period, 3-0, to zero, Lejeune leading the way. Choice goes to Devin Parrish from Lake and Heath High School. He yep. defers and is really hungry for first this year, so we'll see if that works out. Devin Parrish, though, giving him a run for his money. 3-0, to zero, Lejeune leading the way in the second period of the Dodds 152-pound European Wrestling Championship. Quick on the stand-up is Lejeune. He's got ahead. He uh, did not get the escape points. What he's working for right now is the reversal. He wants right back on top. He wants to turn this guy, and he wants to pin him. I know that. Parrish doing a good job holding on to that leg, not giving up the points from the top position right now. And that's now. what's keeping the points uh, from not going to Lejeune right now is Parrish holding onto that leg. Does a great job to pull him back. What he needs to do now is turn into Lejeune. If he can turn into him before Lejeune, uh, exactly, before Lejeune can spin it back around, that uh, means that Parrish is still losing three to zero. Still no points awarded. Lejeune still on bottom, Parrish still on top and working those legs is Parrish. He's got him crossed, making it really hard for Lejeune to do anything off of his backside right now. It seems that they called a uh, illegal hold there, and the referee's going to talk to Lejeune about what happened. Going to look at his nose again to make sure that there's no more blood, and now they're going to start the wrestlers again with Lejeune in the bottom and Parrish starting on top. Another quick move. Gets one leg out. Doesn't quite get the explosion he needed, though. Still, Parrish is very quick on grabbing that leg, and that is avoiding Lejeune getting those extra reversal points. It could be easily 7-0 to zero right now, but Parrish doing a fantastic job of holding on when he can. Again, you see Lejeune with his leg underneath of Parrish's leg there. That's called a Saturday Night Ride, and he's going to use that to try and get leverage to get that other leg out while he's pushing down on the head. Again, another stalemate, so they're going to start them back over in the restart position, which is Lejeune on bottom and Parrish on top. Again, Parrish doing a fantastic job of grabbing that leg when he sees it, and that is keeping Lejeune from dominating this match. It may seem like a little thing, but I believe Parrish is changing sides when he starts from the top position. You can start from either side. Uh, most commonly for right-handed wrestlers, you're going to start on the opponent's left side but it'll really mess some people up starting from the other side if you just haven't practiced with anybody that started from your right side. And it seems to be working for Parrish right now. He's only down three to zero, and again, doing a fantastic job of grabbing and holding onto that leg, and that's keeping Daniel Lejeune's hips 
underneath of him, and there we go. It was a reversal. Even though he holding on to Lake, he actually helped pull him behind him, and Lejeune now leading 5-0, to zero. and we are about to end the second period. There is five seconds left of the second period of this 152-pound Dodds European Wrestling Championship. Now, even though Parrish still had a hold of his leg, they did award the two points because Lejeune was able to turn his body enough around to his back to where he was covering both hips and really had control of the other wrestler. And control is the name of the game in the wrestling world. If you can control your opponent, obviously you're going to do well enough to keep your, your points down, or your points high and your opponent's points down. Parrish taking the bottom position starting this third period down 5-0. to zero. Really needs to get something going because, uh, again, Lejeune is just really, he's a leech from the top. He gets on you, he sticks on you, and it, he makes it really hard for in his opponents to do anything. It may look like Parrish is stalling right now, but when he's got his legs thrown in there, it makes it really hard for him to get his base and for him to do anything. They actually just gave uh, Daniel Lejeune a stalling point. Parrish holding his elbows in too close. The ref gave Lejeune one point for Parrish stalling. And that could be the determining factor in a match and something that's this close. We've talked about it. Six points is an easy deficit. If Parrish is able to reverse him, that's two points straight to his back. Could be five points right there. In and he's move. down by one in one move, basically. And then he's only down by one point. It could come down to that stalling point. Lejeune's hips actually on the mat. That's not a good place for him to be right now. He's got to avoid putting his hips back on the mat, but he does get back up. Looks like he's working that cross face. I think what he's really looking for here is a power half. And uh, he's really been cranking on those arms, but uh, Parrish, great wrestler, not giving it up as easily as what Lejeune may want. Yeah, Parrish comes in this season at 26-1, and one, Lejeune 20-0. So both wrestlers have had a lot of mat time and know what it takes to win. Right now it looks like Lejeune has got his body locked in there and is really cranking back on that shoulder, trying to break that 90 degrees in order to get those back points, uh, that seconds counted off. Any time now the rest of the ref should start to, nope, still at 90 degrees. Parrish doing a fantastic job of keeping his shoulders parallel or flat on the mat, or excuse me, his chest flat on the mat. You see Parrish, the look of anguish on his face. Uh, I don't know if it was pain or frustration, but that is definitely also not a comfortable position to be in. So it looks like he's all right. Going to start back over in the down position for Parrish. 19 seconds left in this 152-pound matchup. Again, if Lejeune can hold on for 19 more seconds, he can avenge that loss from last year and end up first as the 152-pound Dodge European Wrestling Champion. I don't know if he's content just to hold on. I think he's still going to try and turn him here. And that's what we expect from wrestlers of this caliber. Everybody, no matter what the time is left on the clock, they will put 100% effort out there. And you can really see it. I, Parrish is doing everything he can to get that reversal. Three seconds left. Crowd counting down. And Lejeune has done it. Makes his school. successful run. And Lejeune, very, very excited right now. And you won't see a lot of wrestlers gloat. You won't see them run around the mat. They might raise their hands in celebration, maybe scream. But Dodds does a fantastic job of putting the kibosh on those major celebrations. They don't want, you know, showboat or anything like that. Show Good sportsmanship. sportsmanship there. Lejeune giving his opponent a little hug, saying, you know what, look, that was all I could handle right there. So he did win 6 nothing, controlled most of the action, but... I think it was a lot tougher for him than he had planned on. Coming up next, we've got your 160-pound matchup today for your Dodge European Wrestling Championships. But let's go down to the floor. Our man, Sergeant Labuka, is sitting there with Daniel Lejeune. Daniel, man, great, great match, man. Mm -hmm. uh, what, this is your last uh, match of the season uh, going into the championship. What's going through your head while you're rolling around out there? Uh. <laughs>